from Taj Motor Medics. I've got a Vauxhall Corsa here on a 2015. This model here goes all the way to 2018 as well. So just doing the position, uh, not position, I'm sorry, main dip bulb on this. It's a H7 bulb. You will find it in the description as well, the link for it and at the end of the video. So if you didn't want one, but I'll show you how it's done. As you can see, that one there is working and this one isn't. So we're gonna replace this one. But to do it, uh, if you switch the lights off, please, for me. He's out. Brilliant. Now, I'm doing that aside, but I'm gonna show you on this side here. This is, this is the cover I just removed. On the inside there, as you can see that plug right there. So all I have to do is push the pin clip up and then take the whole thing out. Now, just remember how you take it out and the pin locator for the H7 bulb as well. And then uh, you've got to remember these bits here, either side of them and how they go. As you can see that bit right there, they've got gaps in it, just right here and there. So that's got a gap in it. So what I need to now do is put this back on because it's a lot easier this way. So you get an idea how to do the other one. When I push it in, you'll hear a click. And just to make sure the bulb is correct, I'm just gonna see from the front, that's perfect. Now we're gonna do this side here. Now this side here is quite awkward because of the air filter box. I can remove this box, but it'll take, take me a lot longer. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave it as it is, but that's the plug we need to take out. As you can see right there, the plug. So what I do, I push it up and then gently pull the whole thing out. I know you're gonna need proper skinny fingers for this if you've got them, which is brilliant, or skinny hands, I would say. So once you take it out, just remember how you put it back in. So that H7 ball pin locator should be facing up right the opposite direction of the clip, as you can see here. Yeah. Okay, and then you can see on the inside where the sliders are where you need to slide them through So you've got a gap here and gap on the other side I'll worry about that in a minute. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to change the bulb. Just remember how I take it out It's a bit tight Okay, that's out. So this bit here would need to be the opposite so it is a H7 bulb, you can find that in the description if you did want to buy one. And we do the LED ones as well, so just check it out. So like I said, this needs to be the opposite of the clip. So I push it in. And then I just have to slide it through now, through the gap. And then you'll hear it click. And just remember the wires as well, so make sure the wires are not in the way. So if I just push it in now, you hear it? That's it, that's clicked now. Now if you wanna see the bulb, on the inside here, if you come around, lights off. Like on the inside there, you can see the bulb, how the bulb is sitting, just to make sure the bulb is sitting perfectly straight, in line as well, and is not out of line. If it's out of line, that means it's not fitted properly. Double check it again, that's all you have to do. Okay, now what we're gonna do is check the lights. Could you please switch the ignition on? There we go. Now that one there is working. This one here is working as well. Lights up, please. Right, that's all it was. That's all you had to do on this particular model. There is a playlist for Vauxhall. There is a playlist for bulbs as well. So do check it out if there's something else you need to know, like the brake light bulb, fog light bulb, reverse light, whatever it is, TPMS, uh, tire pressure reset as well. You can check them out as well at the same time. And uh, if there is anything in particular you need to know, leave us a comment below and we'll try to help you as much as we can. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video, thank you and goodbye.